325 this morning after and I'm Angela G. And I, I didn't even realize that this is Paul Wall. What's that? What it do? What it do? Yeah, man, how much weight is it? Where is Paul Wall at? I lost 100 pounds. How did you do that? I had surgery on uh, New Year's. The doctor told me I was morbidly obese. The doctor told me that I, you know, I needed to watch what I was doing. And, and I could kind of see it because I'd get on planes and I'd be breathing, sounding like I'm snoring. I'd get on stage feeling like I'm going to have a heart attack. So just, you know, health-wise, I was like, man, you know what? I need to do something because this ain't players. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not a true player right now when you that big. Clothes don't fit just right. And swagger don't really be there just right. So I said, man, you know what? I think I'm going to get this surgery if I can handle it. And I tried it. What was it, gastric bypass? No, I had a, it's called a gastric sleeve. It's kind of like a lap band, but it's a little more intense. And I, I tried it the legit way. I tried it, you know, I, I stopped sipping syrup. You know what I'm saying? I was taking diet pills. I was running five miles a day. You know what I'm saying? I, I was eating right. And, and I tried everything, but none of that worked. And I think a, a result of that was because, uh, you know, I think that was a result for all the years of sipping syrup and taking Vicodins and Xanax and taking diet My whole metabolism was just gone out the window. So I really had no other choice, no other option. And, and the doctor told me, this was really got me. The doctor told me that when you're 50 pounds overweight, it takes 15 years off your life. So I was 120 pounds. You never looked that big to me. See, because I, I know how to hide it. You know what I mean? I know how to buy hey, it. Trust me, I was big. I was, I, was I was 320, so, you know. Are you kidding me? I was, I was uh oh, up. uh oh. Damn, because you never looked. I was like, damn, Paul Wall's fat. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I feel bad. I was up and you donuts on the show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're trying to kill me. What's up with that? <laughs> so I see um, everything looks like it's going really well with you. I know you have a new album, yeah, a new obviously. Album. It comes out July 13th. Yeah, it's called Heart of a Champion. And uh, 713 is our hair coat leave for Houston, so maybe it's a good home for that's coming out on 713. Did you plan it like that? No, nah, actually, we, we have been asking uh, Asylum and Warner Brothers to push the album back because we felt like we needed more time to promote it and they wouldn't let us put, put it back. I mean, they don't not meeting our deadlines, so they just chose the date, and it's just yeah. coincidental. So hopefully, it's a good omen. No, it feels good. So you're out here with millionaires. Yeah, that's a lot of fun. Yeah, that's nice. So y'all are like yeah. super tight again. Yeah, we just came off the road and in love with my money tour for a I mean, you know, we're still doing some shows here and there, and it's been a lot of fun just reuniting on stage with them, getting back together, and, and going on the road with them, and collaborating. Uh, I'm on this new single called Main Event, so that's a lot of fun. Collaborating back in the studio with them too, and, and, and us performing today today, we were uh, collaborating doing the Texas medley and me. Come in there, Slim Thug, and Michael 5000 Watch. Nice. And you're still having like the ultimate um, happily married life? Yeah, definitely. I'm loving Look at how happy yeah. he looks when I said yeah. that. Yeah, of course. Yeah. All right, well, good. Well, shout her out for us and tell her what's up. Hey, baby. I love you. Oh, hey, I'm going to throw up. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's so good to see you, and you look great. Hey, man, don't be jealous. Man. All right, say 45. <laughs>